Hey, what's up, y'all? I hope you're having a good day. Today, we are going to be unboxing the Allure Beauty Box. Um, I cheated a lot, and I've already used all the products in it, but I did that for good reason. This box was kind of okay, but it wasn't my favorite. Anyways, we're just going to go ahead and jump into it and see what we got this month. So one of the things that we got this month was this from Nude Sticks. It is the gel colored lip and cheek balm and it is in the shade Jamama. And I actually really love this. Here's the color. It's perfect. It's so moisturizing on my lips. I have worn it several times. But I really like it. I haven't tried it on my cheeks yet but I have tried it on my lips and I was not disappointed. This is a full size product and it retails for $24. The next thing that we got in our beauty box this month, it actually made me laugh. Like, honestly, I wish they wouldn't have even put this in here because it was just, I don't know, it, I wasn't a fan of it. And what I'm talking about is the original makeup eraser. This is it. This, this is, this is the little sample that you get. The full size is only $20, so, I mean, they could have put a full size in. But, I mean, I, I don't design the boxes, so I'm not going to say anything about it. I was speaking for the product itself, I wasn't really a fan for it. I have used it, clearly. It's pretty dirty. I mean, it, it didn't blow me away. I mean, I've seen reviews on it, and people, you know, they're totally psyched about it. Maybe I need more than just a two by three little square, but it's not something that I would go out and buy. I mean, I just, I, my skin didn't feel clean. I felt, I still felt really dirty after I removed my makeup with it and it, it's not something that I would use. I mean, honestly, I don't even think it would be something that I would use just to take off my makeup before I cleanse. I just, it wasn't my favorite. So we're going to move on. Next, we got a shampoo and conditioner sample. This is from the brand Rahula, I think. I don't know. Don't kill me because I don't know how to pronounce that. It is the classic shampoo and conditioner. Um, the shampoo retails for $34 and the conditioner retails for $36. I did like it. Um, I've used it twice so far. But I mean, honestly, I don't know if it's something that I would, you know, give up what I'm currently using just to go out and buy this. It did leave my hair feeling very clean, nourished. I mean, like even after I used the shampoo, my hair was really slick, like I had just conditioned it. It felt really nice. There wasn't much of a lather. The smell though, I don't know if I like it or if I hate it. Ooh, it's very stringy. It just gooped everywhere. The smell is so strange. It's like, it definitely has like a tea tree oil smell, maybe like some eucalyptus. It smells very earthy, but not in a bad way. That's all I really have to say about it. It's good, but not something that I would go out and buy. The last thing that I got in my box this month was this primer from Stellar. It is the Brilliant Primer. Um, and unfortunately, I did forget to use it whenever I was putting on my makeup today. So, I cannot speak to how this performs. It does come out like a pink color. It feels very smooth. No scent to it. It is super soft on my hand though, so I kind of really wish I would have remembered to put it on today. And this Stellar Primer, um, you can get it at Sephora and it retails for $42. Like I said, I haven't used it yet, so I don't know how it performs, how it's going to last under my makeup or anything. Um... I can definitely use that in an upcoming video and you know we can try it out together and see what it's like. So that is all that I got in my box this month. I do think there was supposed to be one other product um, in the pamphlet that you get in every box. It does have another product in here that I do not have. It is the Kors Pomegranate Balancing Cream Gel Moisturizer. Um, I didn't get that product. I don't know if it was just missing from my box, if my box got overlooked. I don't know, but I didn't get that one. Um, the full size retails for $34 and that's all that I really know about it. So I hope that you enjoyed today's video and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.